and thinking I will have enough riches in my pocket to nourish my heart in case of love. It's Lee's birthday, 1977, a year before we moved to El Paso. Isn't, isn't she beautiful? I am 35. We sit at the corner booth by the windows where the tiny Tadahumata children stand forever with their outstretched hands reaching into the emptiness of the 20th century. And a kaleidoscope of people walk back and forth looking for ways to lose themselves in the dwindling twilight. Glittering mirrors, hard-crusted bolillo rolls, French onion soup, Chateaubriand for two and butter French style. We become drunk and stuffed and happy. We wander the streets. We climb a rickety staircase to a small $10 room with clean sheets. We make love like resplendent wild beasts in search of something Jesus said. And then we walk back into the jingle jangle of Avenida Juarez. That was so, so long ago. Nothing has really changed except us. From Pedro Ruelas Alvarez, the street photographer who took this photograph, he's dead now. Like my mother is dead. My sister Patsy is dead. My brother Bill is dead. Lee's mother and father are dead. Water under the bridge, De Veras. Another Camacho couple is sitting in that booth tonight. They are looking out the window at the Indian children with the large black eyes. And they are afraid of what they see in that confusion. Give them a quarter, mister. Give them a dollar. Give them back the secret places in the mountains where their spirit thrives. That's what I always want to do. To give away something to make myself whole. But it seems so impossible even to give something to myself. At least I feel like I am at home now here in El Paso, walking back and forth the across the bridge. And I'm hoping to find enough riches in my pocket to cure some of the ache in my heart. This is my prayer. May God, may God grant us all love and a little bit of peace on Avenida Juarez. Amen.
the broken.